Now for this part, we're given that a curve C has this equation, 2x plus 3y squared plus 3x squared y equals 4x squared. And what we've got to do is find the gradient at the point P, which has coordinates minus 1, 1. So to get gradient, we need to differentiate with respect to x this equation. And then once we've differentiated it, found dy dx, we then just substitute our values for x and y in and we'll have the gradient. But to differentiate something like this, this is an implicit equation because it's got mixtures of x's and y's essentially on both sides of the equation. So we need to say differentiate with respect to x. And I'm assuming that you're familiar with differentiating implicitly. If not, there's tutorials on my website where you can see examples of this. So I'm going to assume that you're familiar with this. So if we differentiate the first term with respect to x, we therefore have just simply 2. But when we differentiate 3y squared with respect to x, we first of all differentiate it with respect to y. That would be 6y. But then we tag on the end dy by dx. Now for this term here, we've got a product of two functions. Let's say we've got the 3x squared and we've got the y. Two variable quantities here. So we're going to need to use the product rule. So using the product rule, we take one part, times it by the differential of the other part, and then we do it the other way around. So uh, let's start with the 3x squared, and we're going to multiply that by the differential of y with respect to x, which is going to be dy by dx, or 1 times dy by dx. Then we put plus and we do it the other way around. We take the y part and we now multiply it by the differential of the 3x squared, which is going to be 6x. So there's our product rule across that part. Then we've got to differentiate the 4x squared with respect to x, so that's just going to be 8x. Now, all we need to do is group up the terms in dy by dx. So we've got a 6y and we've got 3x squared. And normally we would put this in brackets and put dy by dx at the end, okay, as a common factor, not at the front. We don't tend to do that. And then if we take this term, 6xy, and the 2 from both sides, we're going to have 8x then minus 6xy and then minus this 2. So to get dy by dx, dy by dx is just going to equal 8x minus 6xy then minus 2 divided by 6y plus 3x squared. So 6y plus 3x squared. So for the gradient at p, all we need to do is say that when x equals minus 1, y equals 1, therefore we can work out what that gradient is by substituting these values into dy by dx. So we've got 8 times minus 1, so that's going to be minus 8. We've got minus 6 times x, which is minus 1, and times that 1 there. So that's going to be plus 6. Then you've got minus 2, and it's all divided by 6y, so that's going to be 6 times 1, which is 6, and 3x squared. x squared is going to be 1, times it with a 3, and you've got plus 3. So what we've got here now is minus 8 minus 2, which is minus 10, plus 6 is going to be minus 4, and that's divided by 9. So your gradient then is minus 4 ninths. All right.